Fresh off the pack and press, my barbecue friends are better than yours. Smoking and Bandits at a competition last weekend was nice enough to give me their new barbecue rub. And if you know anything about their beef bound and down rub, this one I expect to be just as good and just as flavorful. So, as we always do with our spice hogs, we'll go ahead, pop the cap, open the seal, look at what we got going on. Let's talk about the color and the flavor and talk about the experience. Let's get to it. Cap is popped, the seal is broken, and as you look into this beautiful bottle, you can see the amber, you can see a little bit of the white from the garlic, and an array of spices, including pepper. Um, this has a very neutral smell, but a very good color. Uh, it's more orangey amber than anything, but our next step in our process, put a little bit in our hand, throw it back, and we'll talk about what we taste. Let's get to it. All right, we talked about the color already. Get you guys a little bit close up look here. Again, you got your pepper flakes, got your uh, paprika, a little bit of brown sugar, maybe a little bit of white sugar. Even we'll put the ingredients up on the screen so you can see. And uh, we're gonna throw it back and talk about what we taste. Let's go. Smoky, refreshing. It really reminds you of a Lay's barbecue potato chip. This is a very nice rub. It's strong. It has a very good sweet tinge. Not overpowering, not overpowering on the smoke. Very level all the way across the board. Shouts out to the guys that smoking at the bandits. I think this is an amazing rub. And today we're gonna to use it on a couple slabs of ribs. See what our customers think. Hey, thank you guys for tuning in to Spice Hall. You can find this on their website, Boy Like Grills of Mississippi. Go support those guys. They're doing great things in barbecue and in flavoring. As always, remember, you too can do amazing barbecue the right way. See you next time.